Okay, the time has come at last to test the cool dude Clem. Solid state Tesla coil. It's been a long, long, long time. Or at least for one of my projects to get made. Will it produce sparks? Or will it go out with a bang? Certainly do hope it works after all the time and trouble I've put into this thing. Actually, I already know if it works because I'm recording this narration after I ran it. So, I'm not going to keep you waiting anymore. Let's see if it works. It's a good thing I went over the circuit with a, t with a fine tooth comb because I noticed my gate drive transformer was wired up the wrong way around, so uh, this MOSFET here wasn't connected properly anyway. But I've taken care of all of that. It would have been a disaster if I had turned it on, but you might be able to see that I've put a heat sink on the voltage regulators on here now. Shielded this circuit here as best I can. We've got foil on the outside of these bits of cardboard connected to ground. So I'm going to do this on about 36 volts first, which is low power to make sure everything works. I'm not even sure if it's going to produce any breakout at that like that because you've got to remember this is a half bridge, so this primary is only going to see half of the supply voltage. And I've got this meter set up here, so even if there's no breakout, if we should be able to see, um, that should be able to pick up and uh, see if we get anything. Now everything is plugged in, so I'm going to turn on and see if it does anything. Well, the meter's definitely responding, so that means it's doing something. That's the staccato, that's, that's the reason why it's going, why it's doing that, because, you know, because I've got the staccato controller right there. Right, let's make sure nothing got hot. Alright. That seems pretty good. We will be powering this on higher power later on, but these are the low power tests just to make sure it even works. And as you see, by the meter there, we got something. So, that's a good sign. That's a good start. So, how much time have I got? I've got about eight minutes before Sonic Boom comes on, so I can try to wrap this up quick. All right, let's see. Um, let's see if it excites a fluorescent light. Yeah, there it goes. Got a nice little flash there. Alright, so we know it's producing high voltage. I'm gonna turn the staccato up a little bit to make that go a little bit faster. No sparks yet, but I wasn't really expecting it to on this voltage. Alright, let me check my MOSFETs, make sure they're not hot. They're still cold. I'm going to turn the staccato up way up now. Oh yes, that's... Oh yes, that's good. Oh yeah, that pegged the meter that time. Okay, well I've just decided to reverse the connections on the primary. And when I turn it on, it absolutely tortured this thing. With every pulse, the needles were going bang, 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 bang against the thing. And it was practically buried it, so... Uh, I'm going to use this light as my meter now. As you can see, that works. Now the next thing I want to try is a different primary before I ramp up the voltage. Because 12 turns I think might be a little bit too much and also I don't think this is that good of a primary anyway. I think we need something a little bit more closely coupled. So I'm going to change the primary and I'll be right back. So, this is a 7-turn primary on this core here, much more closely coupled to the coil. Let's see what this does. Alright, it's about the same. I'm going to put my meter in, just see how well that picks that up. Oh yeah, that's... can you hear that? That's why I had to take that thing away. Okay, so here we are with a different primary, same size, same amount of turns, but thicker wire. So, let's see how this turns out. I think we can say that's working. Let's see if I can get any kind of a spark off that. Oh 
All right. So let's crank it right up till it pops. Or at least put more voltage into it where we know it's working. I'm going to take this away because uh, that is really hurting that thing. That was with about 35 volts. Now let's try with 70. Hmm. Is it doing anything? I'm not getting anything. Remember this. Make sure it's actually doing something. Okay, so this is 70 volt supply. Oh, there we are. That's doing something. Oh, dinner's ready now. Okay, so we did actually get a little shoot of break out there. This is looking real good. And it's just stopped working. Well, the worst has happened, and I think that's going to have to be it for this video, because just as I feared, we have a dead MOSFET. Just this one right here. Hear that? It's dead. The other one's alright though. This one is okay. Well, it was okay. I wasn't doing that before. Oh, it's because I'm measuring across the thing. Yeah, this one's completely shorted. But this one. Still okay. No beep, that means the MOSFET's good. A beep. Means the MOSFET's dead. Well, at least we did get some breakout. Uh, I... Okay, well, I've replaced the dead MOSFET. I've actually replaced both MOSFETs because the only suitable replacements I have are IRFP 830s. I just happen to have a couple of those in my parts box. So I've put those in. These are 500 volt MOSFETs, so uh, let's see if these ones blow. Okay, good so far. That was on 70 volts. Let's see if we can get any... Let's just make sure they didn't warm up at all. No, they're stone cold. Mind you, should be since it's a staccato. The weird thing is, the other MOSFETs didn't blow until... I turned up the frequency of the interrupter, which is kind of strange. Let's see, we get some sparks off this thing. Right, let's do this in the dark. Grainy Pictures presents Test the Coil. I don't know if I dare touch the sparks, but at least we're getting breakouts. Come on, you know you want to see it on the big transformer, right? A hundred volts going into this half bridge. Will it blow the MOSFETs or will we get breakout? I have no idea, so let's turn it on. Maybe we'll get both. Oh, that looks good. Oh, if only the camera would see that better. It's marvellous. It's beautiful. I'm in love. Go turn up the interrupter just a little bit. It's science. Let me just say though, that's not where this project's going to end. This is still an ongoing project. 
All I gotta do now is make a better secondary, maybe even find some better transistors to use, and try to solve that mystery of why the other MOSFETs blew. But that's not gonna be for a while, because this arrived yesterday. A little kit that I'm gonna put together, so that's gonna be the next video. Yes, I know it's not as interesting as this, but that's it for now, so until next time, goodbye.